In February 2023, an angel of the Lord appeared to me in silver armor. I know this to be a message from Jesus because his medal is silver and he opened his breastplate like this and pulled out this paper, just pulled it up. I don't know, it was glowing like the sun. It was like a miniature sun, but it was square. I don't know what was written on it. Until now, Jesus reminded me of an invitation to the banquet room of the Lord. When I was taken to his banquet room, he did a cleansing on me before I entered the room or entered even the area. Then I see a room so beautiful, it took my breath away. And I was like, <gasps> it was so beautiful. And there were many round tables with white glowing tablecloths. I ran up to the table and said to him, it's more beautiful than I could have imagined. Then I was going over the tablecloth. I mean, literally with my hands just rubbing it. I was just rubbing it. It had gold and silver threads in it. And I said, look, it's you and Father, silver and gold in there, like weaved in there. And then I noticed a very, uh, very uh, white thread on the table going through the tablecloth. And that is of the Holy Ghost. I just kept running my hands over it. And I was looking at the table settings and it was perfect. I mean, perfect all the way around how everything was placed, just like perfect. The plates, um, and it had gold cutlery. And I said, Father did all this for you. It's so beautiful. All the glasses and bowls on the table I seen were rainbows coming out of it. Like glowing rainbows. All, all the tables glowed like glowing rainbows colors. I said, Father's rainbows are so beautiful. He really loves you. And then I seen, um, blue and white tiles on the top of the walls. And I said, I love this tile. Father made all this for you. And I'm saying this to Jesus, and he's just looking, smiling, so happy. And I was just amazed. But the, there was some tile in other places, but I don't remember exactly what the patterns were on there. And um, I said, Father made all this for you. This is so beautiful. Then I noticed many other people in the room. There was a lot of people in the room. And there were male and females. And Jesus showed me a little bottle with a silver, glitterly, it, it was silver. The bottle looked like this. Looked just like this. And then when you when you hold it in your hand, it, it, it was like just held in your hand. And it had like um, silver, it was silver uh, glittery uh, in there. And so he's and then, um, so... We, we see the silver glittery in the bottle. And he said, seek as many as you can find in the room, under the tables, on the chairs, anywhere in the room. People were running all over the place finding them. I mean, we were having a happy time. I was never so happy in my life. Finally, I had some joy, true joy and happiness. Then we returned to Jesus in front of platters of gold and silver. And I had my bottle with me. And people had theirs also. Then I seen all these gemstones on these platters. There's like a lot of beautiful gemstones. And he said, and said, I, I seen the, the gemstones on these platters and said, I knew the father and you were the master cutters of the gemstones. And there were all colors of the rainbow. I was touching them, looking at all the facets and said, no one can make gemstones like you. They are so beautiful. I was there a long time looking at these gemstones. I mean, every single one of them, I am picking up, looking at every single gemstone. Like, if you can, like, look at this. I mean, they were like they were all round colors and sizes, and I'm just looking at. I mean, I'm looking at them, amazed at how God is so perfect and how Father was. So all the, I was looking at all the different ways they were cut and said, "I'm so happy. All of these are yours, Father." And I said that to Jesus, "I'm so happy. All of these are yours, Father." He was so happy. Then someone said. The, it was like a, a trumpet 
and the room went off. And then um, someone said the wedding supper was postponed a little while till the Colin boys could come. Then I said to Jesus, that sounds like Grandpa's friend Callahan. And Jesus just looked at me and then smiled. And um, then I said, it's okay, more people will come. Then it was time to open the bottles. We had to put on white robes to do this because it was very sacred to Jesus and Father. We opened them after our robes were on. And I noticed my older sister next to me amazed that she was there, but just as excited. I just kept staring at the bottle. It had beautiful silver glittery look to it. Then Jesus says, take it to my fount of my mercy open it and put it in. I had a platter of them with my sister and we went to that area and that area had a waterfall of Jesus' blood and water. It was huge, this waterfall. It There was no top to it. There was no bottom to it. It, 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 was, it was like a, um, a pinkish red water but more red. Uh, and, it, and it was alive, and it was Jesus. It was huge, never-ending height, beautiful, peaceful. I opened mine from the top, like he said, knowing that the fountain literally was Jesus right before us. My sister and I started crying because of the beauty of his mercy. Then I told my sister, these are Jesus' children we have here. They are so beautiful. And I was crying, and with the, we, we were sobbing, happy tears, crying. And I was like, these are Jesus' children. And I was crying these happy tears. And when I opened it to put it in, I had to show my sister how. I put it in my hand and touched the center of the heart where, where it would be and said, look, this is Jesus' babies. These are all Jesus' babies. And they're so beautiful. And I and I and I had what I opened up from that bottle and I was just touching it. And I'm like, oh look. And it was so beautiful to touch. I'm like, these are all Jesus' babies. They're so beautiful. And and we're crying because it's that beautiful that it just brings brings your whole soul out. And I just like look at all these babies. And we were touching it in amazement of God's love. I just kept rubbing that baby, and then we placed the baby into the fount of Jesus' mercy. It's still, we're still in His mercy, you guys. We're still in His mercy, and it was postponed. There's still more that He wants home. So, we got to be positive with, um, with, uh, this. He will love all of us. At all those gemstones, they were people, facets of people, all different. And it doesn't matter who you are. Long as you're reborn again and you believe in him, it, this area where Jesus was, this, this water fountain of his, of his blood, just, it's just a water fountain in heaven of his, of his mercy and his blood to wash away us so that we be, can become his children through his blood. So, like, right now, let's say I wasn't reborn again, and I don't have his blood. That means you're not a, a citizen of heaven. You have to literally become his baby. And then then I was I was also known that once you put the, that little baby in, in the fount there of his blood, they turn into a, a, a person. Like, they grow that fast into a person. It was amazing. So I, I want everyone to go there, but I don't know about that Callahan or Colin, what that means. I didn't even look it up. But So if we're waiting on people like them, then you know he's got patience. So I'm just letting this out for him.